Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Anusha here with us, who's recently been placed at Microsoft as a part of her campus placements at VIT. So she's here to share her interview experience with us. So this was the tech support role uh, for which Microsoft came to VIT, and I don't need to give any introduction about Microsoft because you know it's Microsoft. And yeah, before we talk to her, let's look at the eligibility criteria. So all students belonging to computer science and circuit branches were eligible and provided they have a CGP of 7 or 70% in 10th and 12th and 8 or 80% in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears. So now let's go ahead and talk to Anusha. Hi Anusha, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Hello Rishnu and hello everyone and thank you Rishnu for having me here. Yeah, so could you introduce yourself to us first? Yes, so yeah, hello everyone. I'm Anusha Jami and I'm currently pursuing my electronics and communication engineering from Vellore Institute of Technology, Vellore branch. And I'm currently in my fourth year and I'll be joining my Microsoft internship from the month of April. So yeah, that's pretty much about me. Okay, thank you so much for introducing yourself. Uh, you can now tell us about the placement process, how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yes, so beginning with the placement process, like in VIT, we had the placement season starting from the mid of July and the company started appearing and it was around on 16th of August when Microsoft visited for the role of technical support engineer role okay. and we were given a mail from our placement cell that uh, less than a day was given and we had to fill up the application process directly from the Microsoft portal okay. and we had a job ID which was mentioned in our email. So using that we could fill it from the Microsoft portal and also we had to fill the details from the placement cell of VIT also. Okay. So after this even we had to upload a CV or resume whatever it was preferable hmm. and then um, we had done this process and it was around 19th of August again when we received an other mail that there was a list in which there were shortlisted students of 50 members and about all the students who had applied only these 50 students were eligible for the further process okay so coming to this so it was uh, wholly based on the resume which we had uploaded in the application process okay and then we were shortlisted and we were told that from 22nd of August we'll be having the further process but we didn't knew what were the rounds so okay. we were a little anxious okay and when on 22nd of August initially the morning we had a pre-placement talk which was organized by Microsoft okay and then we were told that at 11 a.m. our group discussion that is the next round will be starting okay so yeah so we knew that okay we are having group discussion mm. so coming to the group discussion like nine members about each were grouped into groups mm. and also so the six to seven groups were met because okay. we had to they had to accommodate 50 members mm. and then coming it was unlike the other group discussions which i appeared for it was just something different because in the initially like we were given five to ten minutes of time uh, after the topic was told so we could sort out our thoughts also, we were given an option to serve the internet okay. about the topic. Okay. So, that was actually a good opportunity to know more about the topic and the latest topic as well. Right. And coming to the topic which was given to our group was that, are digital payments secure and is India ready to become digital? Hmm. So, this was one of the interesting topic and the ongoing news on which... Right. So it was an interesting topic for mm. the group discussion mm. and initially it was like a round robin fashion in which each one was called and around two minutes each had to speak on the topic mm. and then when everyone had finished randomly we could give our views on the topic like we could contradict the others and such things were done like for some time mm. and then at the end again we were called by our names individually and for one minute we had to conclude our main thoughts about the topic hmm. so this was how the process for the group discussion went on okay and it lasted for around 35 minutes okay so yeah so this was about the group discussion and after all the groups finished their gd round then we were waiting for the shortlisting we thought mostly like it was GD, so maybe there wouldn't be any shortlisting. But we were shocked to see that there was shortlisting even from this round. Okay. So from 50, 
they shortlisted 27 students for the further process. Hmm. And as expected, the further round was the technical round. And the technical round was the longest for me. It took around one and a half hour. Okay. And uh, yeah, and around 3 p.m. on the same day, I had my technical round. So initially, the interviewer asked my introduction. It started like that. So they tried to make me comfortable. And then they started asking my projects. So I went on telling my projects. And then they asked my projects and few questions on it. And mainly they asked the project in which I have used Microsoft Azure. Okay. So they went on asking like, what have you used and why have you used all such questions. And slowly they crept onto the networking area. Hmm. So the questions like how many cores are present in the CPU and also questions like difference between the RAM and the virtual memory. And also uh, questions were asked uh, on the Boolean expression, like a Boolean expression was given to me and I had to draw the truth table. So a pen and paper work was also there. Okay. And also, yeah, questions like simple calculations, like in which a RAM size was given and also what was the maximum virtual memory possible was asked. So such questions were asked from the networking and also the static and the dynamic IP addresses. Hmm. And if you have a PC in your house, what does it contain, static or dynamic? Hmm. So all questions were asked and slowly, slowly they went on to the operating systems area. So they asked about the hyper-threading and also the deadlock, the conditions of deadlock. And real-time scenarios of operating systems were asked like indirectly. And slowly, slowly then they crept to the other part. So coming to the other part which they asked questions on, those were mainly the uh, real-time applications of the computers. Like they asked me scenarios in which if a laptop of yours freezes, what would you do to resolve or what would you observe? And then also there was one more scenario type question in which a URL is opening on your phone but it isn't opening on your laptop. Okay. So what would be the issue or how would you resolve? So they were trying to see the analysis, analyzing skills of ours. And like that, they slowly went on asking me like in what else areas they can ask me. So the interviewer directly asked me in what else areas you are strong in. So uh, then the only part which was left I felt was the coding part. So I told, yeah, I am strong in even DSA, mainly the basics and also the OOPS concepts. So they went on asking the OOPS concepts, like the differences between the polymorphism and encapsulation. And also they asked me to explain with the real-time examples. Mm. And then they went on to ask DSA, mainly they focused on the basics, like the sorting algorithms, different algorithms. And also they asked me to explain a particular algorithm, the whole process. So this was how wholly the technical interview went on for mm. one and a half hour. Okay. And yeah, and after the technical run, we were like, yeah, okay, maybe this is maybe the last round, but it wasn't the last round. So after that, slowly one by one was called for the next round. And it went on till 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock till the night. Oh, okay. And it was around 10 p.m. when I got a call for the next round. So my next round was a type of managerial or yeah, managerial round, which we can tell about. So in this what happened was initially they asked my intro and then they went on to ask my projects and after the projects questions were asked based on the projects and also questions were asked like a little HR type questions like why Microsoft and the CEO of Microsoft was also asked like who is he hmm. and then they went on to ask some logical questions and also a puzzle was given to me to be solved like there are two empty jars one was of 5 liters and one was of 3 liters and there is a running tap with infinite water. So you had to measure 4 liters without using the third jar. So this was one of the puzzles they asked me to solve using two of the processes or the methods which you can approach. So it was basically they were seeing the logical skills or the analyzing skills in this round. And this round lasted for around 30 to 35 minutes hmm. as the interviewer was even telling me like, as it was 10 o'clock in the night. So they didn't want it to extend for much longer time. So it went on for 35 minutes. So this was how the managerial round went on. And that was the end of the day. And we thought maybe this was the last round. But no, it wasn't the last round. Okay. Again, next day, on 23rd of August, we were receiving another mail in which there were 12 students about who were shortlisted. 
and then okay we were like okay there is one more round so for me that was we were expecting an hr round as it is would be the last term but in my case it was completely like a little different the round composed of about just 10 minutes but they totally were asking like a technical question scenario type based on my project okay so yeah so maybe we can tell that round also as a type of managerial round hmm. yeah so that was how the next day 12 students went to the last round and from 12 maybe we thought everyone would go on till the last but still there was short listing and by the end of the 23rd of august we received an other mail in which from this 12 students about 8 students were shortlisted okay so that was how the process went on we received an official mail from our college and the next day we received a mail from microsoft also that we should attend a meeting so again we were in a question mark like what is it and when we joined the meeting they were like yeah so you students are not the shortlisted you have one more round oh. and we all were like shocked <laughs> what is it again but no it was like for a fun time they were congratulating us and they told yes these eight members are the final shortlist and they welcomed okay so that was how the process went on okay uh, uh, that's really great uh, thanks for sharing and congrats again uh, yes thank you so do you have any suggestions for people who want to get in uh, specific to your role or to the to microsoft yes so like yeah coming to the maybe not specific to this yeah. microsoft yeah. or to any of the super green company if you want to get into right. firstly what i have observed is that you should have a good resume that doesn't mean that you should put on more things in it but put on the things in which you are strong in because there are many companies which scrutinize your resume in even from the least expected part right. so yeah so put on the projects in which you are strong in and you also you have a deep knowledge about hmm. and the next thing which i have observed is that like the cs students or any of the students who are interested in coding hmm. practice right from the first year so that you would be become comfortable right. till when you come on to the third year hmm. and also lead code and gfg are the websites which are the best i felt for the coding practice hmm. and when coming to the non cs students as i am from ec background So, if you feel you're not that comfortable in coding, or not the coding is your part, then also you can focus on the areas like networking, operating systems, and also computer organization and architecture. You can take these electives even in your semesters, so that it could be useful for you. And right. being strong in these areas um, helps hmm. you in recruiting in many of the roles of many of the companies. I felt. Right. And the uh, next last thing which I felt is that. be strong in your aptitude skills because every company test has an aptitude section hmm. in fact there are companies which wholly recruit you by using this aptitude test right so it is very important also go through the puzzles or the logical questions whenever you are free because those questions are asked in the managerial round as hmm. well hmm. and also do not panic guys because we have been to the placement phase and also you will be seeing many companies coming up If you do not get into one, do not depress. It's just that you have a better option, and just correct yourself by seeing where you are lacking in from the previous interview, right. so that you can get the next opportunity. Hmm. So do not panic, and there are a lot more companies which are coming up nowadays. Right. So yeah, so that's all from our side, and all the best, everyone. Okay. Thank you so much yes. for all your suggestions yes. and for sharing your experience. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Jishnu. And please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.